to the ground Is that what you want? I got you Is that what you need? I got you Tell me, baby, can you handle it? Cause I got you Cause you love how I ride it It gets so excited when you inside To my channel, as you already know, it is your girl, Keila Shay And we are back for another video I am so, so sorry that I have been gone for so long Y'all, as you may or may not know, I just moved out of the homeless shelter into my own place. So it's just been a lot. I was just getting over being sick. I had to move by myself. It was just a lot going on, but I am settled. Um, a house tour is coming. I was going to do an empty house tour, but for those of you who know me personally, know I don't play about home decor. I stay on Pinterest. I love decorating. Interior design is something I take very serious. So I want to make sure my house is at least furnished. I can add little stuff here and there, but I wanted to get it kind of finished before I share my house with you guys. So please be patient. It is on the way. I wanted to go ahead and do this update video for you guys because it's been so much that has happened. So much is different. So much has changed. So I want to say before I get into the questions, what's different is obviously I'm in a new place. I'm not at the shelter anymore. Thank you, God it's just been a really really good feeling to be back in my own space it's like I have been living with family members this whole entire year and it's been so much drama and toxic shit going on with that so you know I'm just so glad to be in my own shit and I'm just so 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 thankful um I'm not working at my old job anymore God blessed me with a new job that's more geared towards beauty and makeup so that's a blessing within itself. It was kind of crazy how they wouldn't work with me. I was going to try to work both jobs, see if I can get more coin. But the old job wasn't having it, wasn't seeing that for your girl. So God blessed me to be able to start a new job, which I started yesterday. Um, and I love it. So that's what's different. The first question that I got was, what was the scariest thing that you went through? Like, what was your scariest incident being homeless? So the scare, there was this guy that was there. He was obviously suffering with some mental illnesses. Now, if you guys have been keeping up with my journey, you know that I suffer from mental illnesses as well. Anxiety, depression, things like that. Um, so I'm not really too quick to jump on a bandwagon to bash people for what they're experiencing in their lives. I have no idea what he's gone through in his life to make him act the way he act. But I would say the scariest thing was just at certain points I felt triggered a little bit because I didn't really trust him around you know like being around him and stuff like that and his body language was very like aggressive at times so that was scary um and I really thought at some point something was going to happen to me so I just started to kind of stay away you know and try to avoid being alone with him he eventually got kicked out of the shelter uh towards the end we had a, like a heart to heart because I had to like basically cuss him out for speaking to another female derogatory or very disrespectful and if you're around me I don't tolerate that type of stuff like men should just not disrespect women period that's just how I am so I had to check him one day for doing that and after that day he came and apologized to the girl that he had disrespected and to me and all the women that were there and we had a heart to heart and we actually got close and I understood a lot more of why he acted you know the way he acts so but that was the scariest thing i've been doing i didn't really have anything crazy happen at the shelter besides what y'all have already seen on you know my videos with the director other than that it was nothing really scary it was just frustrating being there but it was a blessing at the same time does my new place feel like home at all yes it does i burn candles all the time i pray over my house um i still have to get some uh blessed oil and anoint my house i'm very big on that every place i'm moving to i'm very big on energy spirits and things like that i don't know who stayed here before me and what they had on them but you know i always try to control my environment when you've stayed with people and you've been homeless and you've had that taken away from you or you've lost that or whatever the case may be it's very important that you protect your energy and your space and now that me and my son are in our own space again i'm doing everything i can to protect that so yes 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 my new place does feel like home i'm just so excited to get everything decorated how i want it and yeah period I'm done with music and it's so funny i had orientation at my new job yesterday and the topic of music came back up for those of you who don't know with the school for makeup in 2014 graduated and did all that type of things i freelanced for like two or three years but makeup was a huge part of my life at one point when i gave up on music years ago makeup was like that substitute and then so eventually i gave up on makeup and picked music back up so i just kind of always went back and forth between them it's just so funny to me because it's just like he has a sense of humor when i say that i'm done with music he instantly gives me a job that's directly dealing with makeup and it's just it's so crazy station um me and the lady got on the topic of music and she could sing as well i obviously had a big dream to be a artist and a singer and stuff like that and never used it and she's older than i am um and you know 
she basically with tears in her eyes begged me not to do it because she said the pain that you feel of not fulfilling your dreams and chasing your dreams and you know going after your purpose um which i feel like music is my purpose she said you know that's that pain is unbearable so she begged me not to people have been hitting me up left and right um so i don't know y'all i definitely stand by the fact that i don't want to do any more projects but i'll never stop singing i don't think but to answer the question yes and no that question we're gonna leave that as to be continued and by the way i love you too all right so the next question was the easiest way to transition moving from state to state or to a different state um so i moved, I moved from alabama to dc to dc back down south i'm not disclosing that state yet i moved quite a bit this year um and i've moved about two or three times within one state in the past couple months so i've been all over the place and i posted that post on facebook um with my keys to my house um i had a facebook friend that i don't know personally but i know through facebook she inboxed me and, and um told me to call her and i was like what but i called her and we had a really great conversation for about 30 or 45 minutes just about stepping out on faith because she wanted to move and also had a small child um and was just kind of scared to you know just move and my advice to her and my advice in answer to this question is just to do it sometimes you just have to jump out there and god will give you so many opportunities and he'll push and push and nudge you to that direction of what you you know what you feel in your heart to do it's scary especially when you have kids so i definitely felt where she was coming from and i too was there at one point but then i just reached my breaking point and my you know i was fed up with how my life was in mobile and you know i just had to do it and obviously y'all have seen my journey it didn't go perfect but i'm glad it went the way that it did because it forced me to kind of just just be strong like i had no other option but to be strong I, I became homeless in the process i fell out with family members in the process but i've never been this happy and i've said that before and it's just like every time i say that i find a new level of happiness i like it's like i thought i was happy then but i'm truly experiencing it now you know what i'm saying and god is just continuing to bless me because i'm stepping out on faith so the easiest way to transition is just to do it like nike period it's smart to plan but then my thing on planning is you know you can set up a plan play by play and have a you know a way that everything is gonna go but it's you know now times i'm telling you we all know that it's never gonna go according to plan you know i just kind of jumped out there and i fell and i fell and i fell i went through all that i went through but look where i am now like you know what i'm saying i'm not rich or none of that but i'm doing it like i'm really really doing it so the easiest way to transition is just to do it all right y'all so that sums it up for this q a this updated q a um so i am not homeless anymore i can take that tag and that label off of me god is so good i am in my own place please stay tuned for my house tour it's gonna be bomb so working on something else really really special so these next few uploads are gonna be spaced out they're not gonna be as consistent and back to back as my previous uploads and i hope that's okay with you guys but please continue to subscribe we are on the road to 1000 right around the corner from 900 please continue to tell you know share these videos and get these out to who they need to go to give me a big old thumbs up drop comments below let me know how you like this video let me know what you thought what your thoughts are drop butterflies and all of that please stay tuned i got a lot of good stuff coming up for y'all that y'all do not want to miss our promises our promise period <laughs> so yes i'm about to get in this tub okay and i will see you guys in the next video bye